recent years has seen a massive growth in the field of wearable technology. Most of this growth has been driven by devices in four broad categories. Fitness devices, health monitoring devices, communication devices, and fashion. However, as this is still a very new field, it is ripe for innovative products to redefine how we think of wearables in the future. Consumer products like the Fitbit, heart rate monitoring straps, Google Glass, and various fashion accessories have already made an impact on the market. However, for the next evolution of wearables to come about, it is important that designers today have the tools necessary to create those experiences. The most widely used wearable prototyping tool used today is the Arduino LilyPad, which was developed as a sewable version of the standard Arduino form factor. Newer entrants like the Adafruit Flora and Gemma are also seeing wide adoption. However, they are hindered by factors such as wiring complexity, incurred due to large number of connections required between peripherals, space constraints such as those on small or highly active parts of the body, lack of extensibility, and problems with software configuration. Introducing Trident, the modular wearables toolkit made for designers and hobbyists alike. Trident is built on the foundation of modularity. A Trident setup requires a control unit connected to several nodes. If the control unit is the brains of the system, then the nodes can be called its body. Like the brain, the control unit is responsible for most of the heavy processing However, the nodes have enough intelligence built in to allow for minor computation. A reflex system, if you will. The connection between the control units and nodes is chainable and requires only four wires. Any Arduino compatible board, for example, a lily pad, can serve as the control unit in a Trident setup. Further, each node is designed to be Arduino compatible as well. This means that any and all parts of the system can be programmed by anyone who has used Arduino. The link between all the components is such that nodes can be added anywhere without the need to follow any hierarchy or pattern enabling ease of connections. Each node can control RGB LED strips, a myriad of sensors and output devices such as haptic feedback motors and more. Programming for Trident is easy. Custom libraries written for the system enable the user to control any component connected to the node as if it was connected directly to the control unit completely abstracting away the underlying complexity. In this example, I compare blinking an LED on a standard lily pad versus blinking one on a Trident node connected to a control unit. Trident supports nodes of variable sizes and capabilities. Depending on his or her needs, a designer can choose between minuscule nodes, ideal for controlling a few LEDs and reading from some simple sensors, to moderate size nodes, supporting more pins and sensors, and even allowing full lily pads to be used as nodes if the user so desires. Ultimately, Trident is intended to free designers from having to worry about the mess of wires, routing, and configuration, allowing them to create freely and bring their design ideas to life. Trident is especially suited for complex variable projects involving a multitude of sensors and output devices situated on various parts of the body, its multi-node system enabling simple connections and extensibility in the project. Future work for the project involves developing flexible circuit boards and a graphical user interface to simplify node configuration on a computer. User testing and improvements will follow.